<clears throat> By golly gee, I'm fucking Harry. <laughs> and Shucky Dern, I'm Richard. <laughs> Welcome to Green Acres. I mean, Dead Decks. <laughs> you can tell we're from Abu Dhabi. Yep. Dead Decks. Yeah, buddy. All right, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> I can do too much of anything. Can you? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Dobby. Mm. Born and raised. Ain't yep. never leaving. <laughs> don't know where to go. <laughs> I don't think this leads to anywhere. You can't get to anywhere from Abu Dhabi. Nope. We stuck here. Yep. Yeah, fuck it. Well, well what are we talking about today? We're talking about... <laughs> <laughs> talking about slobbering myself and shit in pants. Uh, Full-blown something. <laughs> something. We're talking about some white tuna. White we're tuna. About. Fuck, that's my favorite subject. Uh, you better make that. <laughs> make that the name of this video. White tuna. Dead Dex does white tuna. <laughs> so we probably should explain what we mean by white tuna. So well, no, these don't qualify as being a white whale. Quite. They're either not quite valuable enough, or they're a little more available, but they're still quasi rare yeah. CCG boxes. So. Yeah, uh, and you know, once Harry said white tuna, we couldn't let go of that fucking <laughs> We had to thing. just put a bunch of shit in the video and start talking about it because we said white tuna. We just emptied some shells. We got some tuna here. <laughs> yeah, you can look over there and see the shelf, how empty it's, that one is. It's all fucked up. It's, it's all over here now. It's full of tuna. Yeah, we got all this tuna we're going to throw at your faces. <laughs> well, let's get going. We got a lot of it. So turn your smell of vision on and uh, mm. let's get into it. Scratch and sniff tuna is my favorite. <laughs> Uh, this one, this, this need to go on some kind of video just because this is the lamest booster box ever made. Monster fucking tykes. 12 booster packs contain six naughty and six nice booster packs. Uh, I mean, we have, uh, well, Dragonstorm we've just confirmed is 12 booster packs, uh, 12 packs in the box, but it's not this small. It's yeah. just a funny little, uh, you know, when I ordered this, I didn't know this was what a booster box looked like. Uh, monster tykes, though, pretty obscure, but for yep. good reason. I think it sucks big old fat balls. So. Um, Hero Bits. This is another one you might be able to find. <laughs> I don't know if you're intrigued or you're shit. I was looking right. at the other box and no. saw the price on it. I was like, what the fuck? No, I didn't pay that for it. No, 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 no. It's just, wow. Hell no. Uh, Hero Bits is you're not going to find that. There might be one more of these out on eBay, but I don't know much about this. I think it's a super generic comic booky bullshit. I don't know. I bought it because it's rare and cheap. Um, yeah. Hero Bits. Hero Bits. It's got a website. They did. Probably don't know more. Crusaders of Lornia. This one uh, seems to be Kickstarter only and barely backed from what I can tell. Hmm. Somebody out there has got cases of this shit. <laughs> like two of them. But uh, because it's just like one seller, I'm still going to say this is tuna. Tuna hmm. quality. High back tuna. High back. <laughs> oh yeah, you take it. Uh, one of my favorite to pronounce from Dragon Sword and the Concha Laka Baka campaign. This is a box that has 12 packs. That's a cooler looking box. Mm -hmm. We got a few that size. Uh, there is one seller that has one or two of these. And that's it. They're pretty rare. Yeah. Not crazy expensive, but no. this isn't hardly any of them out there. That one isn't exactly a CCG, but suck balls. Concha. Uh, Gotta show the nipple rubber. This yeah. is such a fucking box, too. Like it I could, is. I could hurt you with this. That's a man's box. <laughs> <laughs> I love a good man box. <laughs> this is a serpent's tongue. <laughs> the man. <laughs> serpent's tongue in your man box. <laughs> the master archive. Um, it's got a big fucking drawer you pull out there yeah, with this giant. I want to open this so bad right now. I gotta stop touching it. These giant ass sexy packs in here. Uh, these are out there in the world, but again, very few places are they there. Yeah, that was another Kickstarter game that didn't do well, right? Yeah, it, it ended in in disaster with not everything being made and people not being happy and it just kind of died. It's got China dirt all over it too. Oh yeah. Woo, China it's got dirt everywhere. It's got a slit in its bottom. <laughs> it's got a serpent's tongue in the slit and the man <laughs> meat or whatever we said. Man box. <laughs> uh, Vigilus. This is Skateboarding Must Die. This is one of the two sets they made for this. Super obscure. I think this was... I saw this on some website where they basically like print and play shit for you. So I think they use some third party to print this cheap garbage. 
Uh, I remember Steampy asking about them on the shelf back here one time. Hey, Steamps. Anybody gives a fuck about this game ever. Uh, I have no idea how they got funded for that. It's just garbage. I saw somebody open some and we're just talking about how cheap and terrible the cardstock was. A Sir Mantraplay TCG system. Oh, it's, it's a, a system. It's a system. So they claim. Get the fuck out. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, Dungeon Crawler. So this has confused us before with the naming, but Unbound is the company, the maker. Dungeon Crawler is actually the name of the game. And they later converted this to a non-CCG format, I'm pretty sure. But initially... It had booster boxes and was CCG. This is kind of a, I think you can solo play it, RPG quasi thing. So, yeah. yeah. Fuck, I got a good pace going here. Yeah, you do. 26. Oh, Lords. oh shit. You're uh, still on that one. This, each booster contains 26 cards. Wait. These boosters contain 26 exclusive, exclusive rare cards? What the fuck ever. That's weird. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Quite <Right, laughs> better. Maybe mm -hmm. there's 26 rares that you can only find the boosters, I'm guessing. Sure. Why not? Warlords. Uh, maybe there's one right now online, but you're not going to find these very often. Pretty damn obscure. Yeah. They did combo boxes only, as far as we know. Uh, there are starters you can see on either side of the brick, but in the middle there are boosters. And the box said how many? Uh, eight faction decks and uh, 16 12 card boosters. All in one cute little box. And they had that sexy circle seal on the sides, too. Yeah, you gotta love that circle seal. Mm -hmm. Get in that O ring. Yeah, you do. Uh, I love this box. <laughs> yeah, and, you do. <laughs> and I love the art on this game. It's very like, well, what it's based on—an old cheesy eight bitty computer game. Mm -hmm. We did pay seven ninety nine for this box. <laughs> I fucking wish. I mm. bought another dozen. Mm. All right, Supernova. Not very expensive, but there's not many of these in the world. I believe it's a common deck game, so I think in the Scribe Bible it did not qualify as a CCG, but it's a fat fucking booster box. It is. I like the colors on that. It just kind of pops. Um, each display box can, contains 36 packs of 18 cards each. Ooh, that's, that is a fat box. That's a fat fucking box. I really, I, it may be one of my more favorite looking booster boxes. Yeah, it's a cool box. In fact, you should start displaying it like this because it looks so cool. That pop-up looks cool, too, if you were yeah. to open it. Yeah. It I mean, yeah, for what I paid, I could buy another one. Uh, this is a game I really want to play some of, and this is such a janky, beat-up box. I might open it still. Yeah. It's hanging on for dear life. I'm, I've been eyeballing it lately. <laughs> High Stakes Drifter. Um, not a lot of these in the world. Maybe go off at, you know, near 100 bucks, something like that. But they're, they're just rare. You're yeah. not going to see me these. Wild West and uh, Poker Chips. Yeah. And the packs are trying to get out the box. They want to get out. Yeah, they want me bad. They want to come rub against my meat pocket. <laughs> meat pocket. <laughs> <laughs> I keep, keep forgetting what dirty, funny thing you said, so I'll just change it. I said man box man earlier. Box. You just change it into meat box. <laughs> <laughs> get in my meat box. This is uh, Jindu. Uh, I love that fucking box. I just want to show that. Yeah, we've uh, we've referenced before that we're the, the, ex the two most proficient experts in this game yeah maybe prolific too prolific as well yeah uh, the two most certainly yeah nobody seems to really like this nobody's fucking heard of it and it's dirt ass cheap there's just i think there's one seller that has a few boxes left and then it's gone uh, and yeah there's one booster box actually i only have stars at the base there's one booster out there it's about 60 bucks that i've been watching for a while um here's one you will not find if it was a little more valuable, we'd put it in the White Whale video. But Conquest of Arthenia. Uh, there's no boxes available anywhere online that I can find right now. I bought the last one that was on eBay. And fun fact, it made our number one on our card back list. There's... Yeah. That is a sexy card back on this game. Mm -hmm. There you go. I got a couple more. We're about done. We're about yeah. yeah. You get. I mean, I'm sure you already fucked off. Yeah. I'm motoring through these, though. I'm yeah, sure. No. Good timing. This one uh, almost qualifies for white whale status. This is the crow. Um, there might be what well, you said one available right now for sale. Yeah, it's, it's we filmed this at the end of July 2022. At the time, there's one of these for sale. So. Yeah, uh, and this is probably a couple hundred dollar box most of the time. Yeah. So, I and mean, it wouldn't take much to make this a five hundred dollar box, in my opinion. It's yeah. Just, it's got everything going for it. Yeah, and I love this property. Yeah. And a lot of people do. Yeah. It definitely has a cult following. So. Uh, yeah, it wasn't probably the, the best made game, but it, it was quickly made and made for retail only. So. Uh, this is the last one. This is probably the most whale-ish in terms of good fucking <laughs> luck finding another box. I watched this thing forever and finally got the eBay seller to come down. I got it dirt cheap, but 
It's nerve. And it's basically open. It really wants me to open it. Yeah. This, uh, the seal is fucked. The wrapper's wide open. You can see the packs if you look close enough. Uh, you just ain't going to find this game. And there's probably a couple good reasons for that. One, it was made in Switzerland. So, you know, the fuck cares. Uh, and that you cannot find the damn starter packs with instructions to play the fucking game. So I have one box of this I'd already bought and opened. And this is the only one that was anywhere. So I'm going to hang on to it just because they don't fucking exist. Yeah, and I mean, yeah, technically it's, you know, kind of opened. I mean, it'd be kind of hard to sell it as sealed. But, yeah, you know, it's yeah. so rare that who cares? Yeah, I'd say it's a complete booster box with, you know, damaged wrapper. Sweden, not Switzerland. Oh, fucking, that's a S country that's yeah. not Abu Dhabi. That's right. It's close enough. Way too far north. Um, yeah, and I remember I remember we talked about this in some other video, but that it, the cards were never really printed in English because they're not printed in anything. There are no fucking words. <laughs> yeah, it didn't matter. Uh, none of the cards have any words on them at all. Numbers and some terrible computer art, so. I'm guessing their website doesn't exist anymore. You? Oh, fuck. No. Yeah, no, no. no, well, there's our tuna. How'd you like it? I love that tuna. Fuck yeah, buddy. Get you some of that tuna. <laughs>